What's up you guys, Eddie at Fliptronics. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to buy stocks specifically on your iPhone with Robinhood. So before I get into this, you guys, I would totally appreciate if you hit that like and share button below. And if you guys haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Okay, anyways, you guys, um, I use Robinhood, so I'm gonna show you guys how it works. But basically, uh, it came out around 2013, 2014. It was the actually the first uh, time ever where a stock market you know platform slash app came out where there are no commissions so typically you guys uh, anytime that you're getting into uh, you know trading stocks um, they charge a fee to buy stocks and then sell stocks the thing about Robinhood you guys is that there are no commissions so I mean it's literally no commission free trading um, which is why the app is so popular Okay, so it's not a perfect app, you guys. Um, there are, you know, some things about it that I don't like, but there's a lot of things I like about it. So I'm just going to get into how it works. I'm also going to leave a link in the description if you guys want to create an account on Robinhood. I absolutely recommend it if you're just, just getting started. Plus, it's good even if you're, you know, seasoned and, uh, you know, you've been doing this for a while. But anyways, you guys, um, the interface is awesome. There's uh, some great features for getting updates on any stocks that you've currently bought, which is something I'm going to get into. But I'm just going to show you guys, uh, you know, basically what I've got here. So I don't have much in the account right now, you guys, $18. I, you know, typically take money in and out a lot. So right now I just don't really have much in here. But um, let's just do an example here. I've got eight shares of TMQ that I bought. Um, it's Trilogy Metals Inc. So anytime you guys buy a stock, you can pull up different charts on each stock that you own. Um, you can also do this without ones you haven't bought. You can actually do uh, a one week, a one month, a three month, and then a one year. All right, let's just do a one year. So you can actually hover your finger over the stock to see like what it was trading at at any given time over a five year period, which is really cool. It'll pull up how many shares you own right here. You can see the equity value, what I bought it at. And then you can see today's return plus 1.38%. But I'm actually down on this stock. I've, I've lost money on it, uh, you know, so far. All right, so anyways, it also pulls up, you know, popular stocks. Like you guys can see Apple's right here. You got Twitter, Tesla. Um, you can actually hover over the price on, uh, you know, each stock. And it'll pull up what it's, uh, you know, trading at for the day. Like Apple's down 0.25%. Uh, but you guys get the idea. So I'm just going to click on Apple, for example. So like, let's say that you, you know, want to buy some Apple stock. You just click buy. You just put in how many shares you want. Click review, and then you could buy the uh, stock. So um, like I said, you guys, typically, um, if you're not trading for a lot of money or if you just put like a few hundred dollars or a thousand dollars in here, I'll give you guys a really good example because this is pretty much what I do. So uh, you know, let's say I put a thousand dollars into, you know, one stock and it goes up, you know, like six or seven percent for the week. You've made 60 or 70 dollars. Now, imagine you are going to, you know, sell that stock. Uh, like I said, normally when you guys are using any other brokerage or anything, they're going to charge you a fee, which could be seven, ten, fifteen dollars. It just depends, you guys, on where you're doing it. Uh, so that eats in your profits if you're not trading for a lot of money. So that's why I'm saying that this is exactly why Robinhood's so pop, uh, you know, popular. Literally, when you guys, you know, go to sell that stock, you don't have to pay any commissions. There's absolutely no commissions. So Robinhood has over 2 million users. It's continued to get more popular. Um, the way they make money is they try to get people to subscribe to Robinhood Gold, which is cool. Um, if you guys really like the app, you might want to look into doing that. But as far as like straight up just buying stocks, you know, on your iPhone, this is the best option. Um, you know, it's super popular. And as long as you're not trading for a ton of money, you know, anything over like $500,000, then you're going to be totally cool with using Robinhood. Plus, in my opinion, uh, you know, somebody uh, on our channel was saying that I shouldn't be recommending, you know, you know, any kind of like investment thing. This is a really good beginner, uh, you know, app too for anybody who just wants to, you know, maybe put a hundred dollars in it and just try it out, you know, just to see how buying and selling stocks works. I think it's definitely really good for beginners. But you know, like I said, even if you're a seasoned, you know, somewhat veteran or pro at trading stocks, I think this is still a really cool app to check out. Last thing I want to mention, you guys, which is really cool about Robinhood, is the notifications feature. This is something I've never seen on any other, you know, kind of platform before. But basically, when you guys log in on your phone, it'll pull up 
uh, price movement on any stocks you own. So it gives you updates to let you know, hey, your stock's up 3%. So if you want to sell that stock for the day, you could do that. That's really cool. That's something that I haven't seen anywhere before. And that's just a little tip, you guys. Um, you know, if you buy, uh, you know, maybe a few stocks and you're not keeping an eye on them, you'll get updates on Robinhood. Okay, you guys. So anyways, um, I'll leave a link in the description for it. It's definitely a really good app, you guys. And if you were learning or wanting to learn how to trade stocks on your iPhone, this is definitely what I recommend using. I use it. So, uh, you know, like I said, click that link in the description to create an account. Please hit that like and share button, you guys. Thanks for watching this. Stay tuned for more and be sure to subscribe to our channel.